So in this video, we're going to prepare nitro starch, an energetic material. I did this like two years ago, but I lost the footage, so here I am redoing it with better tests as well. Of course, we're handling acid, and this final product is pretty flammable and able to detonate. Don't try this at home, of course. I placed 7 grams of corn starch into a beaker, added 40 milliliters of nitric acid, and then stirred it until it all dissolved, then slowly added 40 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid to maintain temperature below 50 Celsius. This is probably unnecessary, nitric starch does not seem to run away in this reaction. But anyways, afterwards I heated it up to 50 to 60 Celsius for 10 minutes, and then poured it all into 300 milliliters of room temperature water. You could probably save the acid and use it for further nitration, however I didn't because I didn't need to make more stuff. And then I neutralized it off with sodium carbonate, you can see as it neutralizes off we get a nitrous starch precipitate, because the nitric acid dissolves the nitrous starch. I overshot it a tiny bit so I added a bit more sulfuric acid and I filtered it off. Then I simply washed the filtrate until I no longer saw any color on the um, the resulting filtrate and it was neutral. I dried it off on my hot plate and here's the deflagration test. You can see it leaves behind a tiny bit of char, which is expected with this material. It really is tame in this aspect. It does not uh, readily explode into fire like nitrocellulose does. And here's a confined test. I put around 25 milligrams of it into here. And you can see it just sort of angrily puffs off smoke. It doesn't detonate when it's confined and heated. Now here are impact tests. I tried hitting the powder directly. You can see I was not using too much force so I couldn't get it to detonate. And then I tried um, again with loose powder, it didn't work. Finally, confined foil, you can see it needs quite a lot of force to get it to detonate. Around the same as nitrocellulose, I would say. You can see after hitting a few times though, I eventually got it to detonate. And then I tried again with um, loose powder and I did get it to detonate. And then more foil, con um, confined foil tests. And you can see, eventually got it to detonate again. It really seems this stuff is not the most sensitive, at least compared to some other things like nitroglycerin, but it definitely can detonate from impact. And then here's a friction test. I could not get it to detonate at all by using friction, so I would conclude this as not really friction sensitive. It's just not going to detonate, at least how I did it. And then I tried hitting the loose powder more, and you can see if it's too loose it doesn't work. I think if you compact the powder down it does actually detonate as seen here. And then I tried layering it between two pieces of paper because I want to see if it would explode the paper like nitroglycerin does. As you can see, it did not detonate whatsoever when sandwiched between paper. Because this, again, requires a lot of force to detonate, the paper simply just deforms before the nitro starch can get compressed enough for it to detonate. And then I also tried just one piece of paper and nitro starch on the hammerhead, it did not work either. So yes, this does need quite a lot of force to get to detonate. You could probably use a detonator or something. Now additional note is that during the burning tests and also detonation tests, there was a sulfurous smell. So that means that I probably sulfonated my nitro starch a bit more than I sh wanted to. I have no idea how you could overcome this, but it does not seem to um, affect the results. It re remained the same as I did last time. Time. Last time I scaled it down a bit and used a lot more starch, a lot less acid, and I got pretty much the same result. It did not really burn very well if you just set it on fire, but I didn't try impact at that time. I did this time though. So yeah, that's sort of it for this video about nitro starch and its properties. And um, yeah, this is sort of a neat explosive. I mean, if you were after something that like detonates, this would be a pretty good candidate. But nitrocellulose, like if you want to do magic tricks with nitrocellulose, you can't do it with nitro starch unless you want to set your hand on fire, literally. But yeah, that that's it. Yeah, yeah.